yeah you guys are guessing a 10 <laughs> i'm going to rate this movie a 10 because i love this movie because it's it's the emphasis it was um the lesson it wants to bring out was right there in the movie everyone played their role so perfectly well guys welcome to another episode of popcorn crushers here on gusto tv my name is damala it's so nice to like be here again with you guys and yes you all know how much i love my popcorn but today i don't know this movie is uh it gets me to like question do i really love popcorn right now do i really want to take popcorn right now? <laughs> so it's not actually sad I don't know, it's not really sad for so I'm like, not be looking like ah she it's valo of me money loss to come by. No, 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 don't don't think about that. But this this movie is uh, should I say you should guess the movie? Please don't guess the movie. Just let me tell you because I'll love you to watch the movie. So um this movie um is titled Mama Drama. So when, when Mama Drama comes to your mind, I know you you'll be thinking probably yes, they, they all have that um mama drama um tied to portrayed in the movie but then you'll be thinking maybe it's a comedy whereby you see all this um maybe you see a woman trying to fight um someone or this um woman that is just she's the cast that she's just like a very, very going to be a very tough person yes it was there but then it is not just about mama drama this movie went beyond mama drama so i i, I was i won't say I won't ask the reason why they um, named the Mama Drama because why would you name a movie as good as that Mama Drama? But then probably they just want people to think a lot of things and when you see the movie, you get to see that no, this is more than that. So this movie came out 2020, um, it was during the coron um, coronavirus and this movie didn't get the review it was supposed to get because it came out at this um, painful time that um, everybody had to go through all over the world so um this movie wasn't really focused on and yes this movie is now on netflix it came on netflix 2021 so yes you can watch it on netflix you or the um, netflix lovers yes so um this movie was produced by john grant um ekong so john grant ekong has this new movie coming up called um, one too many watch out for that too so yes this movie was by john grant um ekong and it's um stars um artists um actors like um kem there's kunle remy in this movie kunle remy um is a character named boyega there is um osas iho daru osas iho daru in this movie is mena she's married to boyega and there is um femi adebayo Femi Adebayo in this movie is named um, called Dotun and he has a wife, um, um, Kende Bankole. Kende Bankole in this movie is called Kemi. And we also have Aduni Ade. Aduni Ade is a sister to Boyega. Aduni Ade's name in this movie is um, Simi and we have Okwayemi Ayola. So yes, it's, it's, it's about these two families. It's about, it's, it is based on this this movie covered a lot of areas when like you have to question the fact of being a woman you have to question the fact of accepting yourself to be in a in, in that position whereby you want to get married the circumstances that come with it the heavy loads that come around marriage and you know it, it, it is a movie that tells you that when they say for better for worse <laughs> When you are getting married, you should really take that to heart when you are saying it because it means a lot of things, too deep things that is not just something on the surface. It is too deep a thing. So in this movie, we get to see um, Kunle Remy, who is Boyega. We get to see Boyega and Mena, his wife. We get to see them play this perfect role or this beautiful role of being in a marriage, of understanding and going hand in hand in things that this problems they um, came to face in the movie so it's about a woman who is um fighting or who is a victim of sorry infertility she's not infertile she can carry a child but she can't just give birth like okay her is, she's dealing with um child drama miscarriages yes, yes miscarriages. okay so the in this movie there is a woman who is um who is a victim of miscarriage she had like 12 miscarriages or 
yes 12 miscarriages in this movie you know they've been going at it going at it going at it and she keeps and she keeps miscarrying and miscarrying so at this particular point there was a point where she she actually um was pregnant this baby stayed or this um pregnancy stayed for a long period of time and her husband that refused to go to his mom's place because he knew his mom has this whole lot of drama so she has been she has been facing the whole lot of drama from the mother she's a evil woman who got married into a Yoba family. So whenever the mom is talking, the, the mom don't really speak English. You know, like, Omo Ibo, then, you know, she's she's this woman that insults the wife um, or get into a fight with the wife with Yoruba and the girl does not really, like, understand the whole of it, but she can see what is going on. So um, her husband does not want to see the mom, didn't go to the mom's place. But eventually she told the husband, we have to like tell your mom about this pregnancy and all. So they went to the mom's place. They were having a party at the house and the, um, they went over to the mom's place and the mom saw that she was pregnant and the mom got very, very angry. Why won't, why will, will your wife be pregnant? Why will you be pregnant? You, people can't tell me for, she kept this pregnancy for so long that now we can see a bump. And yes, um, the mother got very, very angry, furious at, the, at her son for being a very stupid child, for not taking over because in the movies you hear her say, Omo, Omo, or Jummy, like you're not taking, okay, you're not taking after me or your father. Then who are you? Are you my son at all? Why will you be pregnant? So what you're trying to tell me is that I'm the one killing your babies. You know, the mother took it to another level. She was very, very angry about the whole thing. That oh, congratulations! So I hope you give birth to this um child. Um. I hope you give birth to this child eventually. So along the way, that same day, this girl named Mena got miscarried again. So she couldn't, the baby did not stay. So you no, know, she, she went through a lot of things and after the whole thing, she actually settled for um, surrogacy, told um, a colleague or let's say she's the boss at work. So told a employee at work to help her carry a child. And this employee has her own life. Am I, am I really saying this? <laughs> No, if like you guys have a lot of, I don't know, you have this pool of. Whenever I come here, you, have, you just have this pool of me that I get to tell you all the old movie. No, I can't tell you the old movie, but then this um woman who is going to be the surrogate mother also have her own life aside. She being a surrogate mother, she is married to um a very poor man. Um, so there's no money. She has a child of her own, a boy who is a very, very young child. And you know, when the Adela um, Lano, uh, Adela Lano came into their, when the Adela Lano came into their home, she, their life changed. For the father, Adela knows they have money. They are very rich, and they are like, carry my baby, and I'll give you everything. I'll give you the money. You know, they had to pay for even um our son's school fees and all that. At 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 first. Femi Adibayo, um, who is Dotun, rejected like the offer. I was telling the wife, no, I can't let another man sleep with my wife. Is that possible because of money? And the wife had to explain um, what it means to be a surrogate mother. She explained to her that no, it's just going to be um, the sperm from the husband and the egg from the wife. And they're just going to like put it together and um, put it into a tube. Then after some time, they inject it into me and i'll just be the carrier it's not my child and you know it's not my child so i, I can just carry their baby for them nine months and give them their child like after giving birth to the child so that was the plan that was what was on the contract but guess what guys something went wrong in this movie and you need to watch it to know what it is Yes, yeah, so I, I want to talk about this movie. I want to talk about it because I want to talk about it so bad because it brought out a lot of morals and brought out a lot of things that even a woman, you get to sit down and think about your life. You, you think deep into it because every, anybody can be a victim of not having a child for a long period of time. You know, there are a lot of things to face in the society when you get married and they're expecting you to have a baby, but you did not have a baby or you don't have a baby. You know, there's this thing they look at you like they don't they don't even rate you at all because if you, let just one just go and marry another person so now on the husband's side if you are um a man who is um, who happen to go through all this kind of thing or you are to go through all this kind of thing what what will you do will you leave your wife 
just because she's not giving birth then you go outside there forgetting your vows and all or will you stick to your wife just like um Kunle Remy did in this movie just like Boyega did in this movie because he stood by his wife Andred was with her throughout the journey throughout the way throughout her tears and pains so it, it gets it get me thinking about a lot of things about marriage about mother-in-laws that can be so problematic and so difficult to deal with it get me about a lot of circumstances that women find themselves in and what do you think about surrogacy I'm going to be rating this um, movie it's in yeah you guys are guessing a 10. <laughs> I'm going to read this movie a 10 because I love this movie because it's it's the emphasis it was um the lesson it wants to bring out was right there in the movie. Everyone played their role so perfectly well. I like the way Shaft Bello um 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 Boyga's mom came at it. She acted she acted it two ways. She acted two ways in the sense that she acted as that wicked grandmother and at some point you get to see her emotional you, you get to see her emotions about the whole thing you get to see her own side of it through her expressions through the words she says even even if she's insulting um her daughter-in-law and all that she knows she has this pain too she's carrying and you don't even know who to blame in this movie you don't even know what to say and if you're like, to be the judge in this movie i don't i don't know you even have the right answer for it because it got so crazy and so bad guys i'm rating this movie 10 it had a lot oh my popcorn i'm rating this movie 10 it had a lot in it and i want to know what you rate this movie because uh, See, just read this movie on our comment section. Do not forget to read this movie. Tell me what you, you think about this movie. Tell You can share your own experience or something. Just engage in the comment section. Let's know what you think about this movie. Yes, guys, I've come to the end of today's episode. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go because I want to talk some more. But then I have to go. Catch you guys later. And do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye.